Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to be comparing um, a triangle wave against a sine wave uh, as far as checking out clipping of a stereo amplifier or receiver. I've got dummy loads already, basically a dummy load already hooked up to this uh, receiver and um, what I'm going to do basically is turn turn the receiver up until Turn the volume control up until clipping is reached. Clipping is, of course, when the sine wave flattens out at the at the bottom top or both at the bottom and the top. And I'm going to compare that to a triangle wave, which has uh, square, uh, excuse me, which has straight sides. Because um, I figure probably something that's straight is probably going to be easier to look at than something that's curved. So that too, I'm going to go ahead and turn the for that too, I'm going to go ahead and turn the receiver volume control all the way up and check things out. So now here is the um, sine wave. This is a just a standard 1000 hertz sine wave and the um, 150 millivolt signal that's just being fed into one of the aux inputs. So let me go ahead and start cranking this up. No, nothing happening yet. I think I gotta give this even more juice here. Oh, there it goes. In fact, you can see it right there. The top flattening out. That is clipping. So now, bottom two. You can see the bottom two. So that's symmetrical clipping. That means I'm just overdriving this thing. See, top and the bottom clipping at the same time. Now I'm going to turn things down and what am I on here? I'm, I'm on the volt, 1 volt per division scale and my probe is in the times 10 position. So now what should we get here this time? We're always a little bit different every time, a tiny bit. So that's probably let me see I can't um, move this over a little bit. So it's one, two, three, four, five, 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 fifty, fifty-four. I'd say. Okay. So now I'm gonna go ahead and turn things down. Switch to triangle wave. So here we go with the triangle wave. You can see it's nice and the sides are nice and straight. The uh, peaks are pointed. See how high you can turn. Oh, there it goes. You can see it clip near on the bottom and the top. The those sharp peaks here are getting flat, and it's showing about the same same voltage so I would say that yeah you could definitely use a triangle wave too it's kind of unorthodox but definitely very very usable so anyways I was just wanted to try this out once and uh, uh, see what the difference between the two were because sometimes if you use a sine wave it's really hard to tell when it goes into clipping or if it's uh, if it's um, distorted or now, so. There's one last thing I want to check. Um, this is that sine wave and I'm going to go ahead and turn down the treble control all the way down. Say like simulating a loss of high frequencies. See it's kind of... So this was this is a neutral position. I'm using the tone control now. The, basically the treble control. So let me just turn this down one notch, two notches. Now I'll go ahead and switch to a triangle wave. And I don't know if that can be seen. You can see it, it's not here, the sides aren't straight anymore, they're bowed. Um, 
which you really couldn't see with the sine wave so let me go ahead and turn it down even more I'll turn it down all the way so yes the triangle wave could be used for checking higher low frequency loss let me go ahead and turn on the bass yeah you can see that too there's there's a curve it's getting a curve okay so um, anyways pretty useful and um, thanks for watching